Hey, John here from John Shoe Yourself. With summer right around the corner, it's time to break out your trimmers, edgers, and leaf blowers. I know we all love to do yard work, but when you dig these items out and you find out they no longer function, and with inflation being as high as it is right now, Wild Badger Power has an alternate option for you. What I have here is a combo package that has a 20 volt trimmer combination wheeled edger with a brushless leaf blower. In this review, I'm going to see if an under $100 combo kit is up to the task. I have just the area in the backyard that's going to put this trimmer to the test. As always, if you want to see an unboxing and an installation along with replacing the trimmer line, you have to wait to the end of this video. But as for now, let's get cutting. Okay, I was not joking when I said I had just the spot to put this trimmer to the test. The side of my house that is hidden by my bushes and my fence is seldom seen, so I tend to neglect it. This grass, if you even want to call it grass, is upward 8 inches. So let's grab this trimmer and put it to the test. The first adjustment you can make on your trimmer is the angle of the head. I am close to 6'3", so just with a simple press, I can adjust the head of the trimmer to the appropriate angle for my height. Okay, first impressions. This thing has already impressed me. For being a single line and a 20 volt, it is cutting through these weeds like butter. Second, let me say that this thing is super light. That's bad if you're a kid and have been using the excuse to tell your parents that the trimmer is too heavy for me. So you are definitely going to be doing some trimming soon. And it is clear, clearly having no issues cutting through my jungle of a yard. And as you can see, I already have my son out here giving this trimmer a test run. Okay, a couple of points here. This is not a dual line trimmer. It is a single line. The line is 0 .065 in diameter, and each spool has 11 feet of line. These spools come pre-wound, so no more swearing while trying to replace your trimmer line. Yes, as you guessed, I don't care if grass grows here. So I was really using this trimmer for more than just trimming. I was weed whacking. And as you can see, this badger trimmer took care of my unsightly area on the side of my house. So now let's see how this badger trimmer does it edging. With a simple press of a button, you can adjust the trimmer head vertically so you can run the trimmer on its wheel. Okay, this thing is already super light and I can easily do this without the wheel. But what I did notice is that the wheel allows me to keep the edger perpendicular much more easily. Now I have already trimmed the side of my house without having to extend the line. With me hitting the cement repeatedly here, I am guessing that I will probably lose a little line. So let's see how far we can go. So up to this point, believe it or not, I have yet to extend the line, which brings me up to a great point. This is not a bump and extend line trimmer. Meaning if your line gets too short, you need to stop and depress a button to extend the line. This keeps you from beating up your trimmer in the long run and keeps your line from flying out like in those bump and run trimmers. Since this line did not break yet, let me take a moment and show you how to extend the line if it does. It's a simple button. Flip the trimmer upside down and depress the single button on the bottom of the spindle while pulling on the line. This will allow the line to extend an inch per press, then get back into action. Okay, now the last feature of this combination package, the blower. This blower, as shown, clears the grass you just trimmed and gets the job done. But this isn't a blower that I would take out into the yard and try to move leaves around with. So I'm going to give it a B+. It's achieved what it was intended to be used for, and that's cleaning up the mess you just made with your trimmer. So overall, did this sub $100 trimmer blower combo get the job done? Well, you can be the judge of that. And yes, I know my sidewalk needs to be pressure cleaned, but that's another review. In the end, I can recommend this package for anyone on a budget. I completed my entire lawn on a single battery, and I used the same one in both the trimmer and the blower without having to recharge. My lawn takes me a little over an hour and a half to complete, and that includes mowing. Okay, now for installation. All you need here is a Phillip head screwdriver. All electrical components came individually bagged to protect them from moisture or rain during shipping. And there are very few parts to set up, so this should only take a few minutes. So let's get through this. Before I put the trimmer and the blower together, I wanted to get these batteries charging. They already came 75% charged, so I could probably use them on the yard right now. But since I have a minute to kill while putting this together, let's get these charging. 
The handle comes with a large thumb screw, so installation of the handle and adjustment of it while out mowing will not need to return you to the garage, so this is pretty simple. Next you will need your Phillips screwdriver. In the small bag with the manual, you will find three screws. Screw your trim guard into place. And don't worry, the screw holes can only be aligned in a certain direction, so you can't screw this up, no pun intended. Next, pull off the small protective tape on the line limiter. Snap in your battery and you're ready to trim. The Badger trimmer comes with one pre-wound spool, so you don't need to do any winding yourself. These pre-wound trimmer lines can be bought on Amazon with eight in a pack for around $12. Each one has a .06 diameter line and 11 feet 8 inches of tightly wound line. One is already in the trimmer head, so you can start as soon as your batteries are charged. But for those of you who want to know if you can do it yourself, then I will show you how easy it is. Depress the two buttons on the sides of the spindle head, pull the top straight up, and pull out your line cartridge. Make sure you have a nice bend in the end of your line. Hook it in place and wind in the direction shown by the arrows on the bottom of the cartridge. Then simply pop the top back into place, extend the line to the line limiter by depressing the lower individual button, and get back to trimming. Storage of this item is pretty simple. You can loosen the telescopic extender handle and push to its shortest position. Then simply lower the handle and this compact trimmer can be stored.